Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Hi everyone. So today we will review last week trades using the profile two weeks ago because I was a bit busy last week to make a profile so we trade this specific profile. So let's start to make it short. Obviously last week no really trade confirmation. This is not a real pin bar right here and after there is maybe a trade since the power is down right here but it didn't trigger. Friday was NFP, NFP so I didn't advise to take any trade during the weekend. But if you would have taken this trade your entry would have been at retracement 50% of this specific candle right here so stop loss right here and your target three times right here just for the sake of the example to help you take better the strategy so odd CAD nothing odd CHF let's throw, let's go on the forward chart we can see the power is down and uh, we don't have uh, this is not a real pin bar so I would not have taken it so no trade on this and the power was down there was this trade right here which is a doji at the 200 EMA plus a level and it made one reward after breaking up so uh, as you know me I count the worst case scenario so I count this one as a loss now let's look at odd New Zealand. So odd New Zealand last week uh, the power was going up but I have very strong level to take on a downside direction. Something happened during the weekend but I didn't take it. But what interests us is this specific railroad track right here. One big candle going up, one big candle going down. So your entry perfect is retracement entry, stop loss right here, and this one is a win. So, so far one win, one loss. Now let's look at odd GPY. So we have one trade, the retracement entry is right here, and this is a loss. Switch odd Singapore. So odd Singapore power was up likely yeah until this line down so on the upside direction this one broke so no trade after we have a nice rejection here but since the power is up I would not have taken this one and after price break up and create a nice pin bar right here but the retracement entry didn't trigger so this one no trade euro odd power up and down so what happened during last week so if I place my arrow it means I expect those level to reverse but before in between it's a trend line um, I wouldn't have taken this trend line especially after this one this one this one it's a force attempt so it's a bit too much to take this one as a reversal but since we take the worst case scenario, what do you have? You have a pin bar right here, retracement entry here, and this one I count it as a loss. And after the level touch exactly at the end of the week, we can't take a trade during the weekend, especially after NFP, so no trade more. Now let's go on GBP odd. So GBP odd, uh, my power was up and down, up from this bottom line right here and down right here so what do we have here? we have something but it's not really a candlestick pattern so we don't take this trade anyway and above this one going down there is this one with the 800 EMA as you can see it's a very strong level of resistance but not exactly as at the level so I would not have taken this trade so there is no trade here no trade with a pin bar or a nice pattern touching the level. Let's go to CAD, gold, etc. So we start with silver. Silver, tack, during this specific week, there is nothing since the power was down on this level. 
Maybe now we can expect to sell it, but that's it. Let's look at gold. Gold during this week. Nothing touch our level, we're creating a pattern, so no trades. Singapore JPY, power is down at the level where it is right now. So during this specific week, we are at the level where there might be a trade. So you see a very strong movement going up. So what I wait is the price to lower down a bit. So you have a pin bar right here. You could have taken this pin bar, the retracement entry, the stop loss above. Since you have two levels of support and resistance, you put your stop loss above the level of resistance, so you are more safe. And eventually, if you lost it, I count it as a loss. But if not, there is one trade running, because there is a doji, and it, for me it's running. <coughs> but I count the worst case scenario, which is a loss. Now let's look at CHF Singapore. So CHF Singapore. So we have this arrow saying we go up. On Monday morning, we have an angle thing candle right here. Angle thing, this kind of little doji right here. And after price come to it, create a new doji. So you have a breakout entry or a retracement entry. Stop loss is below this one. And you will have tac tac 30 pips stop loss, and it made three times 92 pips. So this one is a winning train. So, so far, two winning, four losses, which make us in profit, actually. And after this level, made a railroad track, so you can have a trade in the middle of it, but since I told you it's NFP, it's better that I don't count it, since I advise in the channel to, n to not take it. Then, let's look at CHF JPY. Tac. CHF JPY, no pattern around the line. Last week was a nice trade re right here, and here we have a trade, but it didn't touch the trend line. It's very few pips below. Uh, it's a bit riskier, but I would have taken this one. And the retracement entry is the middle of the spin bar, stop loss just below, and it made, as you can see, uh, a very large amount of money. It made 170 pips already. So I, I don't count, but could have been counted really. It's a good trade there, with a good pattern and a solid pin bar. Let's go on CAD uh, JPY, CAD JPY, last week, so as you can see the power is up, until those level, which hasn't been reached yet, maybe next week. We have a nice pattern, but there is no line right here, so there is no trade to take. CAD CHF. So we have a level right here, touch on Friday, so we didn't take it. It created a nice doji, so the breakdown of the doji, for example, can be a breakout trade right here. Entry, going down, <laughs> stop loss above the doji, and three. since it's a breakout entry, I would take two reward only, to be sure to get it. So that's it for CAD. Now let's look at Europair. Europair, last week. Uh, nothing touch on Euro Hong Kong, Euro Singapore. Power was up, uh, it break a line, so let's see what happened. Oh, it break on Friday. So there is not really a trade right here. As you can see as my arrow, for me the power was up, so I would have taken this trade eventually, but the, the gap of the weekend and everything, I would count it as a, as a loss in case. So we are sure in the worst case scenario. Then we are at the second level right now. Nearly touched it and created a pin bar. It was during the weekend, so we don't count it. I will expect on Monday eventually a retouch to enter into this trade. Now let's look at Euro Yen. Euro Yen, a nice pin bar. Uh, I'm not sure the retracement entry triggered because this pin bar is 62. 60 pips, so around 30. No, it didn't touch. The retracement entry didn't touch, so this trade is not on. But I miss this nice level right here. Because there was a level right here, I didn't put it on my chart, and I realized afterwards that this was a, a monthly nice level of support and resistance, and we could have taken this very nice trade. And as you can see, my arrow, I expected some, some reversal on both sides, depending on, on which line would touch.
So just for information, this one was a very very strong move up. We could have taken this one. So I don't count it. Euro New Zealand, Euro New Zealand. Let's look at the four hour chart. So four hour chart is very clear. So we have a nice pin bar at the touch first touch of this level. So we want to take it going on the upside direction. We take a 50%. And I al always advise the stop loss two or three pips below, so it should not have triggered the stop loss on this one. And it made, uh, let me check, tuck. so the stop loss should have been around 27, 28 pips, and it made 57. So as I told you, when you make two reward, you put your stop loss to break even. So this one is not a win, it's not a loss, it should be break even, or eventually, if you were a more uh, active trader, you could have taken two reward because it reached two reward but I don't count it anyway and this one touch on Friday making a nice doji the breakout up of this doji might be a winning trade but we we don't know yet and we will see that on Monday if a retest happen with a nice new candlestick pattern so no trades and Euro CHF uh, Euro CHF what happened so as you can see multiple retests of this specific zone and it's a monthly level of support huh? so the price went up didn't touch my level right here then there is a trend line the trend line made a pin bar but the power was very strong up in fact i will count this pin bar as a losing trade but when you see like a, a w formation like that and the pin bar has been already nearly violated right here the price stalled there before rejecting it the next attempt usually is a break of this specific trend line which is a very nice opportunity to buy so I count it as a loss so so far we have three win six loss which is bread tech, 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 tech. no it's still in profit for three reward six percent profit now let's look at uh, euro cad only trade of the week for euro chf so euro cad euro cad for our chart so what do we have we have this specific pin bar going up and the problem is, is it reversed like two pips only before the level so for me it's not very good and uh, so but it's a no trade anyway the power as you can see is down which is very well respected because when you see what happened right here price touch the 50 EMA and make a huge move down uh, after that we have a doji right at the level but it's a second touch after a reversal just before against the strength of the market so I would not have taken this one I would have waited the level just after which is this where I put my arrow at the lines specifically so those two lines are where I expect the price to go up after touching it for this week now Euro USD let's see what happened Euro USD made a very nice pattern so your USD reverse just before right here and after break the level without creating any pattern but it creates a pattern just right here with a nice pin bar entry at the retracement stop loss below and it made like 5 rewards so this is a nice winning trade a very beautiful one then let's go on GBP pairs and for this week I expect the price to go down from there so GBP try nothing touch Euro GBP so your GBP, I have this line, I was expecting this line to reverse nicely up but as you can see the pattern didn't form properly it created a doji and when there is a doji we take a breakout entry only and the breakout entry didn't trigger on the next candle so we remove the, the pending when it doesn't trigger the next, the next candle then what happened is a very little size candle right here and uh, personally when it's too little like that I'm not confident enough I would like to see really a pin bar now to make me especially that there is 800 EMA right here so it might test the 800 EMA because before going up again so Euro GBP there is no trade last week GBP Singapore which is a nice one now get more clarity so I have an arrow right here and I have an arrow right here sorry Tech, right here. so what happened is price breaks the level 
reverse a bit but after it broke up that's what I was expecting and when it touched this yellow line where it was the arrow plus the trend line it made a nice pin bar in the middle right here and when this pin there occur since I have this I put my stop loss just above the, the high of this one and eventually above the trend line and now it's running nicely in profit maybe 2 2.5 reward already but I count it as a as a profit for this one a winning trade now let's look at GBP New Zealand GBP New Zealand what happens so I have an arrow on this specific line and it nearly touch and at the same time it create a nice W at this level plus a pin bar right here what you could have taken is this pin bar so this is a loss I count it and uh, just after nearly touch my level which is confluent with a Fibonacci on my chart and it creates a very nice like a railroad track a big move go down big move go up and after we have this pin bar right here and this would have been eventually my breakout entry because it didn't make the retracement entry and the stop loss would have been above this was a winning trade but since it's a bit complicated to take and your entry is not sure I will not count this trade we are still in profit around 10% so far now let's look at GBP JPY this one is very very nice I'll show you that so on my daily chart as you can see monthly support right here here there was a previous nice pin bar right here and the price retested outside the envelope which was very very nice for me and I actually I took this trade entering when the spike finished at the end of the candle right here and I put my stop loss just below here and this is as you can see uh, like a 6 reward already so I don't count it but I show you this trade could have been a very very profitable so stop loss below the level of support to be sure and uh, 6 reward just on this trade now let's look at GBP CAD down. GBP CAD both direction but above and price touch the level this time so this one was a trade uh, pin bar I count it as a pin bar because the spike is very long my entry is exactly at the end of the candle my stop loss is below the spike and it made like 5 rewards so this one is a real good winning then uh, then 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 there is a level in the middle but a bit complicated to take dodgy but not real pin bar so for me I will not take this one and didn't touch the level at the top so that's it for this GBPCHF GBPCHF we have very nice opportunity but it was on Friday evening it made a dodgy not a pin bar I would not have taken this one it's not uh, it's not a good pattern enough to take it but the level works that's what is uh, nice to to watch so on Friday night it make a nice pin bar on this one and I believe it will go down for a while but we can plus NFP we avoided it so I don't count it now GBP USD ah, GBP USD I will remove for more clarity the Fibonacci yeah better so we expected to sell where actually is the price right now and we expect it to buy at the bottom and the bottom because the last week nearly touched those two level so those two level for last week are gone from the profile this one has been violated so much so we don't take it anymore and what happened is this create a pin bar at the monthly support right here so the entry is at the end of the spike the stop loss is here and it made <laughs> just for the pleasure this one is a real trade we took it it made around 9.5 10 time your reward so uh, so far seven win seven losses and remember you win three times when you win so and as you can see on Friday at my arrow on my yellow line it touch and it create a nice pin bar in the middle right here so stop loss above right here entry here and it fall down so it's cause in profit so far with around two reward it's a trade but uh, with the NFP I think we have closed this trade when it was around here with around 1.5 reward right here I advise on telegram so I don't count this additional winning trade come back to NZD knock JPY nothing NZD JPY 
and the DJPY. Tac, tac, tac. Remove that for clarity. So, during this specific week, we have this strong trend line, and the power is up and down. And what happened at the... I will not count it, huh? but you have a railroad track at this trend line 183 touch right here plus a nice pin bar right here so you could have eventually taken this trade since there is a nice level of support right here your stop loss is nearly protected right here and it made uh, like maybe 7, 8 reward already during the week and after on Friday it touched our level but Friday and FP we didn't take it so no trades accountable but there was a very nice buy opportunity at the trend line NZDCHF so NZDCHF as you can see arrow in the middle which means we can take eventually this level and on the downside but it was for last week since the profile was for the week before so this made a nice pin bar and as you can see all the way here so it's already three times your risk so it's it was a winning trade but from last week I don't count it and this week this level touch but the candle is very little so insignificant for me I don't take this as a reversal and it nearly touched on Friday but Friday NFP we don't count it and we don't take it NZD CAD and the CAD so we have a power arrow going up and this one in the middle of those specific lines so this yellow this yellow to take for a sell and eventually this one too so what happened is on Friday, the week before, there was this railroad track, and on Tuesday, I think there was this nice pin bar right here to take for a buy, and I take this one. It's a validated trade. Stop loss is here, and it made three rewards, so this one is a winning trade. After it touched this level, made a dodgy, didn't break on the next, so we don't have any more sell opportunity, but this one made dodgy just after the level. And this one made three reward. It's a winning trade. I don't count it because my arrow is a bit higher, so you might have been confused a bit. So I don't count it. But it's a winning trade anyway. Now let's look at NZD USD and see what happened there. From last week, we have this level has been violated and taken in the downside direction, which was a nice winning trade for a sell right here, stop loss here, entry and target it this week. And after at this strong level that wasn't on the profile, there was a monthly. Oh, tac, 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 tac. Uh, ah, no, it nearly touched actually the, the level that I have, but it was just bef below. It, it didn't reach the level. But reject just before. Since it's a monthly, it was too powerful. So, what happened next is. So, if you follow my power with this arrow at this specific level. This level you don't take it as a sell, you would have taken it as a buy. So when this big body candle break it, create a pin bar, but very little size candle, I would not have taken this, I would have taken this as a breakout going up. Since the power is up, as I expected the price to go up again. I don't count it because it's a counter trend trade but it's a, it's a nice trade you could have taken with more experience and eventually if you learn my course so that's it for NZD let's look at USD so no trade on NZD USD for last week so USD DKK that was the profile of two weeks ago and as you can see when this level touch, so the first bar is not really a pin bar, I don't take it, but in the middle, this one was a pin bar, the blue one. So you enter at the end of this candle, you push your stop loss right here, and you would have made like maybe 8 reward on this one. It's a winning trade. On an exotic pair, but a very nice winning trade. Now let's look at SEC GPY. SEC GPY right here. There was a level touch on Monday and this is more a dodgy because the wicks are nearly same size up and down so you take a breakout if you touch on the next candle which didn't occur so this level was this trade was not activated then price come back again to it and it creates this nice pin bar <coughs> and this pin bar the best entry is the retracement but it didn't reach and the second entry is a breakout 
and the breakout made the largely the three reward. So it's a winning trade. So far we have 10 winning trade and 7 losses. Let's look at USD ZAR. USD ZAR, nothing touch. USD Singapore. Oh, this one was very nice. Beautiful trade on USD Singapore last week. So price touched the level, made nearly a railroad track right here and I waited this specific uh, pin bar to form so you have a railroad track plus a pin bar and after you can eventually take a breakout entry and you can see this is a waterfall and it makes a... if you take the retracement entry of the railroad track you would have made around 10 to 12 reward and if it is a pin bar breakout you would have made around 4 to 5 reward it's a very nice winning trade let's look at USD CHF so USDCHF, there was an arrow in the middle, so this level is to take for a sell. There is a losing trade at the retracement, but it was between Monday and in the weekend, so I would not have taken this one. But by security, I will count it as a loss. And what happened on Monday? We have a doji, and we have this engulfing candle. So I will count two losses here, and after this engulfing candle, you have a pin bar, and the pin bar is a winning. So you have one loss and one win on this specific one. Then my power was down so I would not have taken this one. But there was a very nice opportunity right here. It created a perfect pin bar at my level and you can eventually have entered the retracement with very little pips. Like the retracement entry is only 8 pips at risk and it made 100 pips which is 10 times your risk. And what is interesting is that's happened on Friday, but with the, with the NFP is this specific very huge pin bar and price starts to drop. We didn't take it, but that's a nice trade that you can see on our chart. So, USD JPY. USD JPY, we have a power going up from this bottom. This was a trade from last week, and there was this pin bar right here. And this pin bar is a winning trade. Then since this level was already touched, we don't take it anymore and goes for the next level. The next level touch, make a pin bar, you could have entered at the retracement, stop loss right here, and you would have ran already with around 1.5 eventually, 2 reward profits. Training, so it's time that I finish. And finally USD CAD. USD CAD, so what happened on USD CAD? The level was so strong that the price touched it this week and reverse with a candle of I don't know how many pips 60 pips for one candle then the, re the retracement entry was not possible so no trade and the breakout was putting at risk too much money so I didn't take it but as you can see the breakout entry made last week 160 and the stop loss would have been 60 so it's around 2.5 reward already it's a winning trade so I count this one and after no pattern at a specific level so that's it for last week for all the trades we have 13 win and 8 losses the 13 win wins 3 times because they win 3 reward minimum and you can see most of the time you can go from 5 sometimes 10 reward for only one trade so which is 39 reward on those winning trade minus the 8 losses which make it 31 reward and if you multiply that 31 by 2% you have 62% profit on one week using the profile and the swing strategy so cheers to you and uh, see you next week this is the end of the lesson Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. 
I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alerts and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.